YouTube, what is up with y'all today? This is a little, this is probably a little bit more of a like a smaller H&M haul, or maybe it might be equal. But this is another H&M haul presented by me, Goodfella Neil, Neil Goodfella. And I got another big bag again. You know what I mean? Picked up on some. I, I did a, I did a cleanup. You know what I mean? Just to see what I had, uh, just to see what they had left or whatever. Most of the good stuff gone now, um, at my local H&M. So I end up uh, also copping two graphic t-shirts at Walmart. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get off the end of that. Get off the end of that first. <clears throat> first thing I got, I'm a, I was raised in the 90s, so uh, DuckTales is the truth. Um, this was only just like five bucks, very lightweight, definitely crazy. You know, you got, who was that, Uncle Scrooge or something, yeah crazy 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 now me i probably like layer up and wear something like over this kind of like y'all know how like i wear my graphic t-shirts a lot now you know with like a button up over it like this or maybe even a cardigan or something just just to kind of you know i don't want to be all out there with this but you know i'm not ashamed to rock it but i still got to figure out a way how i want to present this or whatever on my body so yeah uh next shirt sublime this is a, a group from the 90s or whatever. Um, I gotta check them out. But I'm definitely into artwork and stuff. Um, I don't know would it be better as far as like seeing this, if you seeing it far back of work, but probably seeing it up a little bit closer so that you get just the, what the artwork look like. Uh, yep, that's it right there. It's kind of like that psychedelic artwork. I'm starting to really feel that. In the past few months, I've been feeling like some of that psychedelic artwork. I've been really like liking that. It's like you on acid or something. You know what I mean? So it's crazy. Crazy and flames. You gonna look at that little face. With the face like that. You got the sublime. $7.50 from Walmart. Y'all should be able to find this at your local Walmart. Um, also, now, getting off into the H&M pickups. The first thing I got was this this is actually a double up this one I actually found for like four bucks size medium chunky knit sweater this would be nice for the fall and stuff crazy classic all that stuff man crazy um, not to repeat myself but yeah so uh, this is definitely worth it man I mean four bucks even when it was five bucks even when it was seven bucks ten bucks hell but when it's time to layer up and you putting that chunky knit sweater on, this is definitely definitely the way to go. The only colorways that came out for this was this light gray and also a, a, a popping orange. The orange version definitely stands out. It's more like a construction worker safety cone, kind of like orange. So yeah, you might want to tone some of that down if you feel like layering up. But I got that subtle light steel gray, you know. Now I think about it. Yeah, it could probably match with some kicks I got. But matching gray with that, with any kind of kick, you know, that ain't no problem. Okay. Then I end up getting this right here. This is like three bucks. Long sleeve. Definitely soft. I never really thought about getting like a long sleeve t-shirt. But then I seen this and I was just like, man, it's definitely worth it. The quality is there. The comfort is there. And charcoal gray is one of them. Uh, underlying colors, underlying colors that I actually wear with a lot of under my button ups, especially like at work and stuff. So it's definitely worth it. Kind of got like that, 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 that. I want to say oatmeal kind of like mix oatmeal color, but yeah, <laughs> it's hard to explain. But yeah, it's charcoal gray, lightweight, definitely worth it. Nothing else too much to it. It's just you know basic, nice, solid color. I already have a charcoal gray t-shirt so that's another reason why I bought that too so when the, when the fall comes and stuff I can just have that and roll the sleeves up <clears throat> so next one up is another stripe button up I know y'all probably like man this dude love them stripes yeah it's probably like my third stripe button up or something like that I know I'm looking at one right now that I showed you guys like weeks ago or last month this one, even though it's not exactly like blue or whatever, it's kind of like a navy blue mixed with kind of grayish-like color. Um, but yeah, definitely worth it. 
this was only 10 bucks this was one of the ones that didn't make the final cut last time but I went back and copped on it it was still there size medium not too much more to it and to this the fit on this is actually true so you know that's a medium and it fits great next up seven bucks another H&M pickup this blue camo sweater definitely worth it um, with this I already tried this on and everything um, with this joint it's kind of I don't want to say baggy but it's definitely a lot of room in here I probably could have went with a small but the medium does look fine on me um, you know and me I like rolling the sleeves up and all that stuff so yeah it's definitely worth it already got another blue sweatshirt as well and you probably wonder why did you cop this one obviously because the camo on it the camo remind me of Bape a lot even though it's not the official Bape camo you know so I'm not trying to fape it out here that's what we used to call the 0506 if you was wearing like fake bait we call it fake you know what I mean <laughs> it's fake <laughs> so uh, instead of saying it's fake come on but you know uh, so yeah it's just a simple camo blue crazy flashy I ain't gonna even say flashy but like more subtle and stuff so um, and and when, when I see camo go on for sale like color camo I remember color camo was the stuff in the late 90s it was red camo blue camo so and of course you had the regular camos like the regular army green and desert storm and stuff like that but when you see stuff like this they don't come out with this too often and uh also at stores that actually give you you know a decent quality and for a good price so again i got this for seven bucks regular price was like thirty dollars i like them and again y'all know what i always say every clothing haul y'all probably be like man why don't you just buy the shirt when it was like 25 bucks or you know now don't get me wrong I very seldomly I actually do buy some shirts for full price like I bought a $35 sweatshirt and I'm happy that I bought a $35 well that $35 sweater is one of my favorite sweaters in my whole wardrobe really and uh, and never discounted so yeah so I'm happy I picked up on it so waiting out for the deals does come to bite you in the back some if you really you know you know if you really just sit there and wait too long or whatever so you know then it depends on how often you shop and stuff and all that so I'm gonna I'm gonna assume everybody don't shop as often as me all like that but you never know but if you go every weekend that's almost like good enough you know what I mean so you kinda keep up and see what's moving and what's not moving so yeah when playing it cheap bites you in the ass also too, try to go to the mall on the weekdays too cause not a lot of people be there so that's a that's another reason how I picked up my first haul and got like good stuff. So yeah, because by the time the weekend came, it wasn't nothing there really. But I was surprised I found this though. This is ten bucks. This is also from the David Beckham collection. Um, I seen this one in magazines. This is one of them jackets that I was like, oh, it looks cool, but they just want too much money for it. So it's thirty nine ninety nine. Now yes, a typical jean jacket would probably go for this much in today's market. Now, back in the day, before the H and M's, that before the H and M came all over here to the U S. or at least in my area, uh, most denim clothes like this, outside of a denim shirt or whatever you could find at Walmart, um, most denim jackets would go for like sixty plus dollars or whatever. So now stuff has calmed down and everything, and uh, this ten bucks is definitely worth it. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, with me, I mean. You know, this this kind of look like a work jacket in a way, like a construction worker jacket, or like you know you do, you work and work with lumber or something, wood, chop wood and stuff. But I think it's fresh though. I love it. Um, I kind of like that. Not kind of. This one actually, it doesn't actually say like actual medium, small or whatever. This is a European. Well, they do have a European uh, sizes anyway. But U.S. I should probably be looking at it. U.S. 40 regular for me. That might mean a medium or something for us i tried on a 36 regular that didn't work um i'm not really into like fitting blazers all over me so this is kind of like that so if you know what your size is for like a blazer 36 regular 40 regular 44 regular whatever you know the sizes um you know but also try them on before you buy it because i'm happy i tried on that 36 regular because that little thing was tight so 
Uh, one of the things I do like about this, though, enough of my rambling, but one of the things I do, another thing I like about it is that it's oversized and I can actually like put like a hoodie on up under it. With a lot of my jackets I've been buying lately, a lot of my denim jackets specifically, I've been trying to like get like an oversized kind of like look, not even a look, but an oversized size so I can actually layer up with it come fall, come winter, whatever. I could just throw a gray hoodie on up under it, black hoodie, red hoodie, whatever. And uh, yeah, man definitely does its job so um that is it for my small h&m haul oh and look at the time it's half of the time of what the longer one was because the last one was like 20 minutes so anyway rate comment and subscribe if you want this is neil goodfella goodfella nail also subscribers please look forward to more content on my channel weekly sneaker rotations sneaker talks new kicks and uh i don't know i might have a restoration coming up soon so yeah it's a simple one though it's a super easy one i never really too much got around to shooting it and uh yeah i'm out this joint peace